In yesterday's video, I got to rank 13 on Trailblazer League Reloaded. And then I made the big mistake of going to sleep and editing the video when I woke up. And as it currently stands, I'm not even on the top page. I'm ranked 26 or some shit, and that needs to change today. I told you guys yesterday I'm going to break into the top 5, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm at 79 mining, but I am rendering the video right now, so I kind of don't want to waste any more time. I think I'm going to go unlock this Rundoko shop so I can sell all these gnats for a bunch of money. And then I can work on 25 mil cooking as well as my construction and finish maze training arena. There's a whole lot of options. Just give me 4.5k. It does. Oh my god. And I can do it every time. Holy shit. Infinite money glitch. 1.5 mil cash just like that. I'm going to go back to mining while I eat breakfast. And then we're going to get started on cooking and maze training arena. All right. I've got to 80 mining, almost 81 mining. I've finished eating my 10 pieces of salmon for breakfast. I got 1.5 mil cash. I'm about to go buy 4k, 5k crown bonds and bang out 25 mil cooking within the hour for 200 points. All right, this should be enough crumbs to get me to 99 cooking. It's time to click around 10,000 times, which will be a lot of fun. And that is 25 million cooking XP. We will go to 35 mil and 50 mil. Doing this is kind of always efficient. It's an hour for 200 points, getting us to 31,000, over 31,000 for the first time, but I'm not cooking anymore like that. My hand hurts, we'll do it later. While I'm in the mood to do tasks that I really don't want to do, I'm going to finish up Mage Training Arena. We need the Mage's Book, the Master Wand, and the Bones to Peach's Spell. Beginner Wand, Apprentice Wand, Teacher Wand, Master Wand, nice. Mage's Book, select Bones to Peach's Enchantments, I need more, oh my god, my math is always wrong. But, we'll put both of those on, that's 80 points each, 31 to 20. And we'll go get some more enchantment runes as well. Bones to Peaches. You now know how to use Bones to Peaches. Nice. Cast Bones to Peaches. That's 40 points as well. Only 40 points. 31, 260. I got knocked off the front page while I sleep. So let's see what I'm at now. Rank 22. We'll take that. I'm pretty sure I have enough logs in my bank just from all the PVM and miscellaneous things I've done to get me to 99 fire making. And that will get me 200 points for 99 fire making. And it'll also get me 200 points for reaching 2k total, so let's do it. I'm literally burning 9 logs at a time, so I have to find 3x3 three three squares to do it, and that's the only hard part about this. 33 mil XP an hour, Jesus Christ. This is going to be my last inventory of magic logs. I'm going to save 100 just in case I need them for some fletching purposes. I think there are some tasks to fletch, like a bunch of magic stuff. I know I will get some more from later in PVM, but I have other logs, and at 33 mil XP an hour, it's really not a big deal. I got 2.4k mahogany logs, that should be more than enough. How much XP drops do I get per that? I was getting like 33k with the magic logs, 22k with this. So maybe it'll be like 22 mil an hour, you know? Oh no. That is 2k total for 200 points. We are what? Two levels off. 99 fire making. That'll take like five more minutes. We're at 31,460 points right now. Let's go. 99 fire making, another 200 points. Very, very nice. 31,660. Set a relog from rank 24 to 20 above Higer and Mason. You guys loved the last time Creator Crafted sponsored a video, and they are back once again with a huge Black Friday sale. They just stocked up after coming off pre-order, and they're going to go very quickly. There are loads of new releases and new LED signs to choose from. Go have a look. I have the Elijah Spirit Shield personally, but there are a ton to choose from. They're easy to set up and use, they're long-lasting, and they are officially licensed by Jax. And not only that, they also just released League's Mouse Mats to add to the collection, and they all look amazing as well. So click the link in the description or use the code DITTER10 at checkout for 10% off your order and get them now because they're going to sell out fast. It is finally time to get started on Wilderness Slayer and fly up some points. And I do need to explain something to you guys without sounding like too much of a crybaby. This is my seventh video in the leagues. I've been playing like 24 hours a day. And obviously my video's performance are kind of based off my rank and my progression. And since the release of the league, the drop tables for the revs have not been boosted by the league drop multiplier. So those weapons are just as rare as they are on the main game. There are literally thousands of points locked behind Slayer and Revenants, but there's no point of me doing it until it got fixed, as I'd just be screwing myself over, which means I've really suffered in what ranks I could have been in the past couple days. They finally hotfixed it today, which means I can get started on Slayer, and I know I'm not a coder, so I don't know how hard it is, but it's really disappointing to have this stuff happen. It's happened like three leagues in a row, and they don't even know about it until we have to go test it for them, and obviously just screw ourselves over. But it's fixed now, and we can get started. I just wanted to explain that to you guys. We're skipping lizards and we're starting Slayer. There's a lot that we can get done. Basically a whole fuck ton of buyables, first of all. And we really want to get the rev weapons. That's what we really want. They fixed revs. There's so many points to get from revs. And I have the Claws of Callisto, so that's like a big combo break. 
270 points. It's not looking too good. Abyssal Demons, 115. Nice. Abyssal Demons is a really good toss. There's also like a thousand points I can get at Sire. So let's go do that. Would the Mage Relic allow me to attack at a tick of two speeds and Berserker letting me max my first hit every single time? It's always a one down at Sire, which is a really nice comparison to the two previous leagues I played where my Sire kills have been really, really slow. Come on, dead. Oh, I need to swap the left click on these before it gets bad for me. Okay, now it does spawn a fuck ton. My DPS on Sire is insane, and they are fast kills, but I'm currently getting rinsed by the spawns. I have to figure something out. Oh, I got it on Sire, dude. I don't know if this is meant to be spawning so many bosses at once, dude, but let's go. It's spawning so many spawns, bro. That can't be correct. All right, give me a 1KC Abyssal Dagger. Oh, I got a Bludgeon Piece. That's still 80 points, though. Gets me to 31,740. 71, 91 Slayer. Trying some new tactics here. I'm gonna beta test some kills in Obby and see if it's more reclined and means I'll never die. Infinity Robes don't give me damage anyway, and my Mage Relic gives me busted Mage accuracy, and Obby Darmor doesn't even have negative Mage bonus, so I still have really good bonus here. Obby's the move. Alright, we found the way to do it. I need to get that perfect sire somehow though. Come on, perfect sire. We did it. We did it. Don't stop moving, perfect sire, we did it. Okay, and that should be without, yep. I didn't let any of them spawn, very, very nice. Now I just need to kill it with Venge and get it like 20 KC on it, which is sick. Nice, we got soul runes, we needed that. I'm gonna go do the Venge thing now, so I don't have to do it later. Ooh, and that's Demon Rebound, let's go. I might die, but it was worth it. Holy fuck. Quick cheeky barrage. Let's go. Abyssal Adept down now, 20 KC. And 30 more KC, I'm gonna fly up like 400 points or something. Ooh, another Unsired. 21 KC, let's go open it. Please give me a dagger, I want those 200 points. We'll take the bludgeon pieces after, you know? These are one in 20, so I've gotten two in 20, which is pretty nice. And this lamp. 12K mining XP. Give me the dagger, give me the dagger, give me the dagger. Oh, bludgeon spine, we'll take it though. Exit. That's how we do, we do fast kills. And then we just run back in and insta attack it. We can do this 100 KC quick as. That's only the animations and stuff that takes long. Ooh, another side. We either complete our bludgeon here, or we get a dagger, or we get like a jar or a whip. So I don't know why I said all that, because anything can happen. But <laughs> I hope we complete the bludgeon at least. Or actually, I still hope we get the dagger, to be honest. 32 KC, we're speeding through now. Now that I've got like a comfy setup and I don't have to worry about dying or whatever, I'd rather do like 10 seconds slower kills in Obby and just chill than die and lose my mind. 
A dagger. Let's go, dude. That is so good. That is so good. 200 points right there. 31,940. That is actually huge for us because that means our next on side could probably be the bludgeon piece. And then that's another 200 points. And obviously the dagger is rarer. Nice. Dude, we've gone with four unsires and 36 KC. The rate is 1 in 20. I'm getting it at 1 in 10 right now. Give me the bludgeon. Don't troll me with another dagger now that I'm getting spooned. Just give me the bludgeon. Come on, come on, come on. Bludgeon piece? No way, I got the pet. Obtain a boss pet, that's 200 points. I will certainly take that. It is one of the most common pet in the game, to be fair. I will certainly take that. Let's go. 32,140. I will certainly take that. We're now rank 19. I swear I've already got the Sire pet, though, on a previous league, and your pets transfer over, so I don't know how that works, but I'll take the 200 points. Not going to complain. Ooh, 45 KC on Sired. Is it going to complete our bludgeon? If so, we're going to go up literally 600 points very soon. If I, if I get this on Sired, I'm not sure I'm going to stay here till 150 KC. I really don't think it's worth it currently. No way, another dagger. Okay, okay, we're gonna have to stay for a little bit. Damn. I'm pretty much AFK, and then if I ever see myself taking poison damage, I just move. This is the most reclined Sire I've ever had in three leagues. And if we do ever get in a 60 situation in this part, we can pretty much tank it. And insta-kill. Doing like a minute 30 kills. I suck that this is so much like time animation in between. But that is defeat the Abyssal Sire 50 times and complete the Abyssal Sire combat achievements. Getting me 32,540 points. That should put me at rank 14 over Barry Hall and Wooks. And Wooks. Damn. I want to watch myself overtake Wooks in real time. Boom. Right behind Higer too. Yo, if you're enjoying the video so far, please make sure you subscribe. Double check right now. It means you'll never miss another one. And guys, it would mean the world to me if you went to didabitter.com and checked out the merch I just dropped, especially for leagues. There's a lot of designs and colors to choose from, and a lot of people have already picked up some, and it would mean the world to me if just one person watching this right now bought something. What the hell? No way that works. Dude, I just died and came back and I forgot to finish my kill. I've never had that happen before. That's crazy. I guess because I came so quickly, maybe? Don't. That was the wrong way to say that. I've gone into 85 rage pretty much just off the Sage's Axe. And that is 92 Slayer as well. I think I'm close to 99 death, and we might even get 25 mil hit points today. So yeah, the come the come up is happening. The come up is definitely happening. Ooh. 70 KC on Sired. Is this the end of the bludgeon? Is this the completion of the bludgeon? It very well could. It's possible. Or will it be the third dagger? Or will it be a jar? I wouldn't be completely mad at a jar, but I know I'm going to get more later, but I would really just like to complete the bludgeon for the points, mate. Is that all good with you? Is that chillin'? No way, dude. We got the jar. I'm done. Is there still a task for that? How did I call that? Add a jar to a display case in your player-owned house. Okay. Fuck, dude. <laughs> I really did call it, huh? It is points. Um... 200 points as well. You need 87 construction for it. 25 dwarf weed. I very much need that. There's a task to clean 100, and I am nowhere near that. And that is 99 defense. 200 points we crept up on. Probably could have got it way sooner, but it is what it is. 32,740. We're on, like, what, 97 KC right now, too? Bit of lag there. That's not great, but yeah. Free 200 points. We take those. And what's our HP? 22.6 mil. That gets us to tied rank 13 over Higer, who won the Twisted League. He's rank 15 right now. Very worried about him. No way, 100 KC and an unsired. Right on 100, bro. Just give me the bludgeon piece, bro. I could do with another juicer, another 200 points, you know? For the culture. Am I asking for much here? Bro, what? Back to back, okay, now I'm pissed. Now I'm pissed. Back to back jars. 86 range, still using the ax. 104 KC, another unsired. Come on, bro. Don't be a third jar or a third dagger. How hard is it to get the last bludgeon piece? It's not that hard. From my calculations, it's one and two or some shit, isn't it? Come on, come on. Give me that bludgeon piece. Oh, where am I going? Give me the bludgeon piece. Let's go. We got the bludgeon piece. Let's go. Let's make this right now. Let's make this right now. This will get us rank 13 pretty safely. 
And we have the bludgeon, 200 points, 32, 940. Hit a refresh. And we're solidly in rank 13 position. We can fly today. I know we can. I'm still going to do this. I'm not going to skip Sire when I have like 10 kills left. So we'll see what happens. Another 25 Grime of Dwarf with huge. I still don't think we have 100, but that's better than nothing. And that is my Sire task done. 116 KC. There's another 200 point task at 150 KC. So if I do get another task, I'm definitely going to come back and claim that free 200 points. But let's go see what our task is now. Hopefully we get like revs. Or hopefully we get revs. Assignment. Ooh, revs. Nice. Nice. We may have to crash some people. Apparently it's pretty packed there. Okay, there's a very good possibility I'm going to get in a crash war with someone here. So push us luck. Yep. We're just going to go for this guy, unfortunately. It is what it is. I'm sorry, buddy. I got to kill these revs. It is what it is, you know? And he's dead. Sorry, mate. Okay, I'm going to sit low HP, but there's a chance he comes back for me. You know what I mean? There is a chance he comes back for me. Hopefully he doesn't, though. Hopefully he gets the message, you know? I'm, I'm, I am sorry about that, but it is the game we play. Oh my god, we're printing, dude. I'm in the perfect spot right here, and they respawn on like a 10 second timer, and I'm killing them just as quickly as they respawn, which is pretty sick. So I'm just gonna sit here and have a good time, and hopefully no one comes for us. If this guy, if that guy who I killed is watching this, I'm sorry, bro, but every world's fold. It's a doggy dog world, it's the wilderness, you know? If I can pull a rev weapon, we're in the money, but if I get the Yurstein Chain Mace, that's 400 points, because I have the Closet Callisto as well. I think the drop rate for a web weapon is like 1 in 179, if I'm not mistaken. And I have like 160 revs, so there's a good chance I get one. Alright, their max hit is a 7, so I can actually get pretty, pretty low. So, we'll, we'll do that. I don't need to be eating and blood blitzing all the time like I am. No way, dude. We got the chain mace. No way. We got what we wanted. We got the chain mace. No fucking way. That's crazy. That's 400 points, I'm pretty sure. Let me check. Chain mace. Equip a Vigorous chain mace. 200 points. Equip a Yersin Chain Mace, 200 points. Yup. We're in the money. I'm gonna stay up here until I lose my skull though, or until the task is over. Mahogany planks, we're gonna need that for construction too. Lyran's keys are good. That's gonna be our way of getting pure essence for 99 rune crafting. That's 93 Slayer as well. We're speeding up right now. We're gonna hit 25 mil HP. Probably not on this task, but definitely today, which will be another 200 points. I guess I should wear this as well for the 200 points. Equip Vigor's Chain Mace. 200 points, getting me over 33,000, 140, rank 13 again over Judy to Booty. And I could take rank 12 pretty easily too, but I don't think it's efficient logging in and out right now. And we got the Avarice now too, so I can skull up whenever I lose my skull. Perfect. That's so good for us. Shout out to Jax for Hotfix and Rose. Is that the 16 mil one? Ancient statuette. I think it might be. 2 okay, it's a 2 mil one, but that's still very, very nice. It's going to help us with our construction a lot. A lot. Okay, and that's my rev task done. Look how much loot I have in my inventory. Let me get that Lyran's key. I think this is like 12 to 15 mil worth of loot. Obviously, we have the emblem in there as well. Um, I don't know what to go do now. I think I might go train construction, and I might go make this chain mace, to be honest. I know I said I wasn't going to, but I might. I'm going to quickly see what task I get, just to see if there's any combo breakers. Kuras, nope. 500k, equip your scene chain mace. 200 points again. 33,340. Let's hit a refresh on this. And we're rank 14 again. We could take rank 13 so easily. We're just ch chopping trees for some approval right now. Collect resources, 80 points right there. Very, very nice. We take that 100%. Yes, sir, it is. We're at 33,420. That puts us up a rank as well. Back at rank 13. Let's hit a refresh. Boom. I think I'm literally gonna be 80k off 87 construction or something, which is just gonna be so sad. Okay, I think I have found a way to get 87 construction. Hopefully. The Lumbridge Hard Diary. Actually, I never came I never claimed my XP from the Lumbridge Diary. Um construction. 120k XP. I think that's exactly what I needed. I think I can train construction right now and get this level. I need 87. Okay, yeah, planks just give a set amount of XP, so it doesn't really matter which one we use first. Let's do mahoganies. Okay, this is pretty much all my mahogany pl planks done. Got me from whatever I was at, I think 69 to 81 construction. Let's go use the teak planks now. 
Alright, th that's all the teak plaques done. I'm gonna have to use oak plaques now. I'm at, um... Fuck, I just teleported back to my house. I'm at 85 construction. Alright, we can do oak doors now. Alright, I'm just about out of oak planks. I was making oak doors. I wonder what else I could really make. I've got 45 KXP left to go. I'm gonna have to use normal planks or something. Okay, and this should be 87 construction, if I'm not mistaken. Now we just need to go run around the map, get some GP, and cash in some points in our house. We need a marble lectern, an achievement gallery, and we need to put the jar in our display case. I need to figure out where the emblem trader's at, because I need to get this 2 mil. I kind of need it. I'm very low on money. There he is, nice. Found him pretty easily. Yep, take that, please. I don't want it no more. People with fire sale were doing this day one. Unfortunately, I was not so lucky. Let's see what I need to buy. Marble block. Magic stone. Gold leaf for the marble lectern. For the gilded altar. Marble block X2. Gold leaf X4. God damn, this is costly. But it's worth it. Build gilded altar. That should be 80 points right there. Taking me to 33,500 flat. Let me get a study built. Build lectern space, marble lector. Marble lectern, that's another 80 points, right? Yep, 33,850. 33,580, I mean. Achievement gallery, where are you at? 200K, this is gonna give me 80 points itself. 33,580. Build boss layer space. Boom. Add jar. Boom, 200 points, 33,860. Let's hit the relog. Rank 11, 100 points of rank 10. Let's do the Lumbridge Hard Diary. I forgot I could do that. I might be able to take rank 10. Boom, we can pick it right away, which is so nice. There should be another 80 points for doing the Lumbridge and Drainer Hard Diary, if I'm not mistaken. Am I mistaken? I'm not mistaken. 33,940 points. I'm 20 away from rank 10. Weiss. This should be another 40 points, and it should get us rank 10. 33,980. Nice little combo breaker. And we've gone from not being on the front page today to being rank 10 in the entire game. Big gap between rank 9, though. Alright, we're going to see if we can skip for something good here. Because we have 690 points. Just give us revs. Basilis. Dust Devils. We'll do them. We're doing these just because I want to get 25 mil HP XP, and something tells me this will be some very good HP XP. This is Battle Staff. Oh my god, that was an 80 point task. Equip a miss, miss Battle Staff. Let's go. I kind of had a sneaky suspicion it was. 34,092. I'm over the threshold, bro. Well, I'm at 94 Slayer now, too. I need to eat lunch, so I'm going to do some shooting stars, but after that, we're going to go back to Slayer and start climbing up the leaderboard again. We're still going for rank 5 today. We're not done. Dude, how is he doing it? No, he just, he's saying watch closely, he's gonna do it again. He's too good. I think I'm gonna continue on my Slayer grind, you know. Revs, banned, it's surely I counts that. Huh? Yeah, I'm past them. Revenants! Okay, I need to get these Addy bars because there is a task for a fuck ton of Addy darts. Now, this may hurt you guys, but I'm actually going to stop picking up the loot. I'm going to go every now and then and get some sweeps. But if I stand in the middle like this with the Mage Relic and Berserker and the low HP I am, I basically one hit them every single time. So it actually gets me more kills per hour if I just stand in the middle and kill them. I am pretty much just here for the Rev weapons and like the Ancient Crystals, stuff that gives me tasks. And obviously, if I get the medallions, that's just pure GP, so I'll go pick that up. But something tells me I just can't be bothered picking up all this rune and alchemy. Oh shit, 25 million hit points XP, bro. That's crept up, crept up on me. 34,260 points. 192 revs and no... Um... Like, whatever it's called, bro. Weapon? Like what? Minions of Scabaras. Revs. Oh, no way, dude. First KC, and I get a duplicate chain mace, dude. Damn. That could have been it, bro. One mil ancient totem. Pick that up. 
No way, I got the crossbow. No way, dude. No fucking way. 200 points for an elite uh, equipping a crossbow. Now if I get the scepter, that's 200 points for that and 400 points for getting every weapon. Jeez. Dude, the dream is alive, man. The dream is alive. I kind of wish I took that Zuck. Oh, no way, bro. Two crossbows, two chain maces, dude. What? No way, bro. In 400 KC, I've got four weapons and not one of them has been a scepter at the night. Gonna smoke here. <laughs> yup. And of course, that made me lose my divine rune pouch I had in the wilderness. You're meant to keep all your untradables and everything on a PVM death. You keep your normal rune pouch and stuff and like everything else. But yeah, it is what it is. And we're back. We just, it's like nothing ever happened. We got our BTEC rune pouch. 158 revs done. Let's go get another task. I'm sorry. Revs, 190 revs. I'm banking 99 farming here though. How many magic seeds do you think it is? Wait, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got the scepter. I got it, I got it. Where is it? There it is. Boom! Obtain every revenant weapon, 400 points. I'm at 34860 now. I'm just gonna equip it right away. We're on 35,000, just like that. I need to go train my mining. It's time to take rank five. 82 mining. Let's go hit the combo breaker. Okay, I got a minute. A minute to the rest of my life. Let's go! Mine's some Runet War in the Wilderness. 200 points. 35,260. Let's take rank 5. Dragon Scale Dust. Anti Fire Potion. Thingy. Green Menzale. Let me, let me look at it. Extended. Okay, it doesn't matter what kind of thing it is. 200 points. 35,460. From rank 10. To rank five, baby! So with Jax finally sorting the rev drop table a week in, I was able to climb from rank 26 to rank five today, unlocking the scepter in the process. This scepter is way better than barrage for me and is gonna be my best weapon until I get the shadow from TOA. And it's gonna be especially strong in the wilderness where I still have a lot to do. And once I get the upgrade from Bedion, it'll be even stronger and hopefully I'll be able to make a push for rank one in the coming days. Remember to subscribe if you enjoyed the video so you don't miss the next one. And if you do wanna support me further, I would love it if you guys went to didabitter.com and bought a piece of my merch. Thank you guys so much for watching.